moving on to the next question consider a scenario with a block having seven metal layers and another scenario with the same block having 10 metal layers now which of the two scenarios having a block with seven metal layers or 10 metal layers will function better and why see in a physical design process the number of metal layers significantly impacts the performance and the functionality of the chip generally speaking the metal layers serve as the wiring infrastructure for connecting the different components within a chip basically these metal layers allow signals such as power clock and data to flow between the transistors gates and other circuit elements now let's explore the implications of having the seven metal layers versus the 10 metal layers actually there are several factors to consider the number of metal layers for any design to meet the specifications they are the design requirements technology know congestion and the cost and complexity of the design now let's start with the design requirements see the design requirement says that the design will demand that these many number of metal layers for example say seven metal layers or the 10 metal layers are needed for the indirect connections of the components depending on the specific functionality and the complexity of the circuit design for example the simpler the chip design typically involves fewer components and interconnections these designs may require fewer metal layers because there are fewer elements to connect for example the basic logic gates or the simple digital circuits may use only a few metal layers in contrast for complex designs like microprocessors which involves multi billion transistors may require more number of additional layers to accommodate the routing and the connectivity between components also we need to consider the desired performance metrics such as signal propagation delay power consumption and the noise immunity in choosing the number of metal layers because higher metal layers generally can improve the signal integrity it can provide the better signal propagation by minimizing the delay and the crosstalk now the next factor to consider the number of metal layers for any design is the technology know and the foundry see different technology nodes offered by foundries will have varying metal layer options for example let me consider two technology nodes namely the 7 nanometer and the 14 nanometer so any design with 14 nanometer nodes is supposed to have lesser number of transistor count when comparing a design with 7 nanometer nodes so lesser the number of nodes in a design will need lesser number of metal layers for the interconnection of the components than the design with more number of nodes so what we infer is that when migrating from higher technology node to the lower technology node for any design will demand more number of metal layers the next factor to consider the number of metal layers is the congestion in connection to the above technology node factor when using fewer metal layers for any design we can say that the routing resources are simpler to manage but at the same time the limited number of metal layers can result in congestion because when too many wires need to be routed through a limited number of tracks then the congestion occurs due to the restricted routing resources making the routing to be very very challenging also Fewer metal layers may limit the flexibility to route the signals efficiently, especially in the complex design. So, to ease the congestion and for better routing, we can go for more number of metal layers, but at the same time, it may also increase the chip area layout. And the last factor is the cost and complexity. So, adding more layers may increase the manufacturing complexity and the cost for manufacturing also.
now let us look after the advantages of using more number of metal layers say for example 10 metal layers compared to the 7 metal layers so here listing down the advantages like better conductivity uh, routing flexibility followed by signal isolation and finally the power distribution now with respect to the conductivity i can say that any design with higher number of metal layers generally have lower resistance so as we move up the metal stack the resistance decreases allowing the signals to propagate much more efficiently followed by the routing flexibility so here any design with additional number of metal layers will provide more routing options so generally speaking complex designs will benefit from extra additional layers by avoiding congestion and optimizing the signal paths followed by the next advantage is signal isolation so uh, any design having alternating more number of horizontal vertical metal layers may help to prevent or minimize the crosstalk and the signal interference and finally the power distribution advantage so as we move up the metal stack from lower metal layer to the higher metal layers uh, preferably the top metal layers are used for power routing due to their lower resistance that will also minimize the ir drop or the voltage drop now let us look after the disadvantages of using more number of metal layers used in the design the disadvantages are cost and the layout complexity with respect to the cost see each metal layer that we add in the design adds to the manufacturing cost so to minimize the cost the designers have to look for appropriate number of metal layers so as to strike a balance across all design targets followed by the layout complexity adding more number of additional metal layers in any design may increase the layout design time and may lead to larger chip surface area in summary the number of metal layers is a critical consideration in any chip design which are influenced by various factors like design requirements technology node foundry capabilities then the target of the design to be met also the design engineers must optimize the routing strategies to ensure efficient signal transmission and enhance the overall performance based on the number of metal layers chosen finally by comparing the advantages and the disadvantages of using more number of metal layers in any design is that see for any complex design considering more number of metal layers will make the design to achieve better performance than considering the lesser number of metal layers.